Hey, it's Gavin here, coming to you live from WalshFadaway.com and obviously Facebook. So if you're watching this, thanks for joining me. And I hope you're looking forward to this booty extravaganza. So first thing up, let me know that you are what you're watching. Hit the like button, hit the wow button, say hello and let me know where you're from. We're going to get cracking in about 30 seconds to a minute. Let a few people uh, notice that this video is actually live and they hop on and come and join me. Or at least that's the plan. But if you're watching this later on, make sure you uh, either share this video to your page, your profile, or hit the button somewhere along the lines around this video somewhere where you can save the video and watch it later as well. So, going to work the, the butt, going to warm you up first and then throw in a few different exercises to really try and focus in on the old asimus. Of course, a little bit of the legs will be working as well, but we're looking to get these, these a little bit tense, buns of steel, that's the plan at least. So as I said, if you're watching this, make sure you say hello, hit that like button, share to your friends, your family, random people in the street, just show them, say, hey, check out this, okay? Do me a favor, I'd appreciate that if you could. So I'm gonna kick things off in about 30 seconds from now. Um, all you need for this workout is a chair and a mat. And to be fair, you don't even need those, because I'll show you a couple of modifications. If you haven't got a chair knocking about, and you don't really need a mat, especially if you're at home, it's absolutely fine, okay? All right, so first exercise that we have, let me get my timer ready. We have some heel kicks, and if you can't do the heel kicks, what I recommend is a heel kick march, okay? So you're just doing this. So that's a heel kick march, throwing in a bit of pace into that, but let's do this, shall we? Let's get cracking. All right, so warming up. First up, three different exercises, two rounds, a little break, and then we're going to go into the main section. All right, so heel kicks coming up. Let's do this, shall we? So your heel kicks are these ones. Trying to really squeeze the hammies there, throwing them in. I've obviously got my dog knocking about as well, Daisy. I think she's just had enough. She's like, I'm not having this business. I'm trying to go to sleep, so I'm going back inside. But this is what we're looking at, heel kicks. Knock them back, squeeze those hammies. And as I said at the start, if you can't do that, high march there. So get a heel kick march going on. Very simple. So we can work around these things if you can't do the impact exercises and you can still warm these muscles up, okay? So not long left on these. Come on, here we go. Ready for action. Ready for buns of steel. That's the plan, right, yeah? Remember, if you're just watching this now, if you're just joining in, hit that like button, share it, save it. And you can do it with, again. Save these videos that you just see me do live and you have a nice little library that you can come back to again and again. All right, next up, we're gonna go high knees. Now, high knees are these ones. Yes, a little bit more high impact. If you can't do these, what I recommend is just a high march. Easy work around, but again, pick up the pace a little bit, making sure we're bringing that heart rate up getting you warm, getting these legs primed. So if you can do the full high knees, great. Come and join me. Otherwise, just a high march. That's absolutely fine too. I'll tell you what, my legs are a little bit tired today. Feeling a little bit heavy. It's all kicking off now. Dogs going at each other. <laughs> That's what happens when you do a live workout. Daisy, stop it. I'll bring, I'll bring Daisy up here in a second. You can see her. All right, two and one. Relax. We're going to go lateral slide. So if you're at home, sofa, edge of the sofa to the other edge. Otherwise, I'm going from mat to mat here. So put one end to the other. So all it is, come across, reach down, middle of the shin, keeping your back straight. So when you reach down, you don't want this ugly looking position here. You want your butt back like this. And it's up to you how fast you go on this. Let's hop in from one side to a little kind of stutter step. So short steps in the middle, reach to the side. Easy peasy. Controlling the breathing. That's Rosie next door. Not too happy that I'm doing a workout. And here comes Daisy to say hello. All right, in the rest period, I'll pick her up and I'll show you. 
All right, so we're back to the start on those heel kicks. So again, we've got the march, the heel kick march, flicking back, trying to get these hammies. So rather than just flicking back, actually try and squeeze those muscles. Okay, but otherwise, a bit more dynamic. Get those legs moving. There we go. So it should be starting to feel warmer. Breathing becoming a little bit heavier. All right. Deep breaths, try and control the breathing. Get yourself into a rhythm, really does help. If you can control that breathing. All right, we're nearly done with this one. Going into that high march or the high knees. All right, so if you can do the high knees, this one, pick those knees up, try and lean forward into it. A lot of people, when they do this, they end up leaning back. You want to lean forward slightly, engage the abs. So pulling that belly button in, and if you can't do that, you've got the march. But again, inject that bit of pace. Want to get warm, get those legs moving. Picking those knees up, trying to get to waist height every time. And then we have the lateral slides. I'll tell you what, I'm in for a treat. My legs are feeling so heavy today. No idea why. All I did yesterday was play basketball, and now they're shot. <laughs> All right, come on, nearly there. Got the slides coming up next. Then we have a rest. And I'm gonna come and say hello. See what everyone's up to. All right, so slides. Remember, try and keep your back straight as you touch down. A couple of steps. Reach, touch. That simple. And if you can, pick up the pace a little bit. I want to get you warm. But no big deal if you're going to go a little bit slower. Especially if you've got dodgy knees or anything like that. Just take your time. Find your pace. All right, you. <laughs> Daisy, behave. <laughs> Oi, stop it. Sit down. Get in the way now. All right, only a few seconds left here. <laughs> Two. And one. All right, relax, Daisy. Come here. You monkey. So this is my partner in crime here. So, how are we doing, people? This is Daisy. So, not too happy with those lateral slides. All right, down you go. Yeah. All right, so let's stretch it out a little bit. So, heels push down into the ground, lift your butt up high, control the breathing. So, our first exercise we've got is a slow squat. Okay, a very, very slow squat. Now, a couple of pointers on a squat. Make sure your back is straight. You sit the weight through the heels and you push your, your hips back. So what I'm looking for is, is this. Actually, even slower than that. Let me just move my mic around the back here. So we're down. Hands can come out for balance. Sitting on those heels. Now we set the back in good shape there. And boom. So that's what we're looking for, okay? One minute of slow squats. Try and look up at me as you do it. Chest open, shoulders back. This is what we're here for. Pushing those knees out to the side slightly. And make sure your feet aren't too close together because you'll find that you won't get anywhere near as low enough as you want to to get your buns working, okay? Some people, due to flexibility issues, will only get to there. And that's great for the thighs, but not much is going to happen around here. So what will help is if you open up the hips a little bit, push those knees out. That's going to activate the glutes as well. Notice how slow I'm coming up. Slow, slow, slow. Pushing through those heels all the way through this. Coming back down. Keep pace with me. Don't rush. And the real work is when we come back up. So we're pushing through this. Push, push, push. Slowly. Now, if on the heel kicks you were trying to squeeze those hammies, you're going to feel those working. 
I'm gonna go one more, and then we're gonna go into the Bulgarian squats. So I'm gonna use my chair for this one. Now the Bulgarian squats look like this. So place your hand on the wall if you need to for balance. You can go toes or laces, whichever you prefer. Now the key to this one is making sure it's the front leg doing all the work. So I'm sitting back, weight through the heel, not pushing on this leg, come up, and we're going slowly. So my toes are actually off the ground there, but that's just to emphasize where the weight is going. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Nice and easy. Breathe. Yep, legs are definitely starting to work now. If you're pushing through the heel there, you're gonna feel that butt starting to work, especially from about here. And this is the beauty of the single leg exercises when we do things like this, just using the one leg. Because the glute really has to activate, switch itself on to get involved. All right, switch side, same thing. Sitting back into this. Now, I should have pointed out at the start of that other one. Make sure that this front knee doesn't go past the toes or even past the end of your laces. And if you haven't got a chair, coffee table, whatever you happen to be using at home, a step, something like that, then what I want you to do instead, what I want you to do is some reverse lunges, okay? The reverse lunge is here. Very little emphasis on the back leg. Again, all through the front. That's not doing any work. So same thing. Touch it down, so just let it rest there. Don't do anything with it. Come up, push through. Okay, that's the plan there. So if you haven't got a chair, this is actually fine, but don't put any emphasis on this back leg or on that front leg, okay? I'm watching you, right? okay? It's all about that front leg. Now I know I've been doing the same leg in here before you call me out on that. All right, next up, we're down to the ground. We're going single leg bridge. So point yourself down on the mat. Daisy's coming to join me. And all it is, <laughs> all right, Daisy, come on. All it is, is hips up off the ground. Now notice I've got my toe off the ground there. We're gonna try and get those hips up as high as possible. <laughs> Daisy doesn't look like she's enjoying herself. But then again, she always looks a bit sad, a bit melancholy. All right, well, just one minute here. If you need to rest at any point during this, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry. I'm keeping it slow. I'm not rushing this. Really trying to put the emphasis into that heel. Hip, lift the hips as high as possible. Come back down. Now, keep your head down. Obviously, I'm keeping it up to have a look at what Daisy's up to. And have a look towards you as well. One more. Squeeze it in. All right, other side. Now, if you are struggling with this one, you can keep your foot flat, that's fine as well. But try it with the heel digging into the ground. Good, probably wanna get my hips up a little bit higher than that. There we go, it's a beautiful day here in Brighton on the south coast of England. Still a little bit nippy, mind. All right, there we go. Now, if you've got kids at home, this is a great workout to do them, get them involved. Now, just like Daisy was sitting on me there, <laughs> you can get your kids sitting on you. Make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. All right, almost there. And we're gonna flip onto our front. Keep it coming, high as you can go. One more for luck. All right, from there. All right, we want to sit towards our front. Okay, hands down in a kind of plank position that we'd normally do. I'm gonna keep one knee on the ground. Okay, and all you're gonna do is lift this leg up, extend it up high, and then try and squeeze that butt cheek for all it's worth. Lower it down, kiss the ground, bring it back up, squeeze the butt cheek. You really gotta focus on that squeeze. So a lot of people will do this exercise and kind of just throw it up there. Yeah, I can sort of feel that, but when you throw in that squeeze, that's where the magic is. Now try not to, to really move the hips or bring the shoulders high, just try to lock that position. Breathe it out as you bring it up high. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
onto the other side. So same thing, lock the position, bring it up, squeeze the butt cheek. Remember, buns of steel. You've got to focus on those buns. You want to get rid of the sagginess, get those cheeks to lift a little bit. Now, the thing is with this sort of workout, you know, you're not getting out of breath. It doesn't look much. But let me tell you, you may be sore for a day or two after this one. And if not, next time you do this routine, try it twice around. That'll do the job. Because this is only a short one. You know, it's about 15 minutes-ish. Almost done. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And guess what? We're going back on the Bulgarian squats after this. There we go. So back up on your feet. And once again, if you've just tuned in, if you're just watching this, say hello. Let me know where you're from. Don't be a stranger. Don't be shy. Pushing through this heel. Back leg not doing any of the work. Dropping down. Keep it slow. And try and get quite low down to the ground. So trying to get that right angle. I've got a few shakes happening there. Noisy buggers. I love living in Brighton. But at the same time, when I'm trying to film a live workout, not ideal when they're squawking. Keep it slow. Try and keep a fluid movement as well. So try not to stop at the top for too long. As soon as you hit the top, straight back down. I was telling some ladies off this morning for we're doing something similar to that. Switch around. Now remember, if you haven't got a chair table, you can do those reverse lunges. Just make sure you don't put any emphasis on the back leg. If you haven't got a wall nearby, it's common sense, but some people don't think about this. Get a chair in front of you. That's absolutely fine. Especially if your balance is a little bit iffy. Slowly does it. Now we've got one more exercise after this. Back on the slow squat, and that is us done. We're gonna stretch out a little bit. Happy days, workout done for the day. <sighs> Breathe it out. Make sure you keep your back straight. Look, I'm always looking up. I'm never looking down to the ground. Definitely getting the wobbles in there now. Don't rush it. Don't go faster than me. Stay with me. Boom. All right, so we've got the one more exercise to finish with, and that's that slow squat. I'm going to come a little bit close towards you. So sitting on the heels, come down, keep your head high, push through the heels, pushing those knees out slightly, slow, 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 get into the top, coming back down. Slow, 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 especially on the way up. This is where the work is right here. You feel it. Feel the shakes kicking in. Quads might be burning up a little bit too, I know. That's why we've got to try and put as much emphasis onto the heels as possible. Breathe it out on the way up, breathe it in on the way down. Come back up, keep it slow. Good thing is when you're doing it slow, in a minute, you're only doing about six, seven of these. This is it to finish, let's go slow, keep it slow, let's get to the top, all the way up, kaboom. All right, so that is it, so shake it out a little bit. Well done if you did that, and if you're watching the replay later on, I hope you enjoyed it too. So we're gonna do a little bit of a stretch, but shake it out, grab some water. If you watched that and you did it with me, let me know how it was, let me know if you enjoyed it, let me know how those legs and your butt is feeling, okay? And feel free to share the video, send it to your friends, your family, let them know all about it. That would be much appreciated. So let's do a wee stretch, shall we? Feet pushed down into the ground, especially those heels. Lean over and then bring your butt up to the sky, still pushing those heels down. A lot of people think you need to take your chest down, but if you do the heels down and lift your butt up high, you're gonna feel that stretch on the back of those legs, on those hammies. We're going to hold that for a few more seconds. 
push down, lift up, push and lift. Try and pull them apart almost. Okay, one step to the side. So you survived. It wasn't too bad, was it? I hope you enjoyed that. Might still be a little bit shaky. And if you're a bit more advanced and uh, you, know, you go to the gym and you do all sorts of different classes, then there's nothing wrong with throwing in some extra weight. I'm falling over here. Some extra weight, so dumbbells, cowbells, something like that, to give you that little bit more resistance. Still go slow, but bring the resistance up. All right, pushing your hips forward here. Reach up, lean to the side. Feel that stretch. Back, spin your legs around. Push your hips forward. Reach up high. And if you've got a foam roller at home, I recommend uh, using that. It's a real good tool to, uh, to really help your recovery, but to get rid of any knots in the muscles, become more, more fluid in your movement, you know, less aches and pains, all that sort of stuff really does help. It's kind of like self-massage. So if you've got one at home, use it. If not, go and get one. All right, other side. I almost call it a day. So I said, make sure you hit the like button, the share, all that business. I would really appreciate that. And look out for the next one. Hit the, uh, the live notification button around there somewhere and let me know. Carmel, great. Check it out later on and enjoy it. Let me know how you do. To everyone else, goodbye and thank you for watching. Take care for now.